What's up guys? Welcome back to some cheat landers. So this is going to be the beginning of the new series. This is going to be a build and play series for season six. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go over my favorite budget builds. And then I'll build them, I'll show you what they are, and I'll run them. Um, and I'll tell you, you know, what alterations you could make. Uh, just to, to build it to your own preference if you want to try to copy any of these builds. I'm going to just be buying basic guns just to show you like what it's like. First, we, we have to build our kit. So I'm going to be running. I'm just going down the list. So we're gonna, the first video is going to be AR-17. So we're looking at like 2K. Oof. Can we get these? No, they're one of the guns we can't get from the exchange. Make sure you always check the exchange because the prices here are a lot cheaper than what people were selling basic guns for. So just an FYI. And then you can always check the identified guns because a lot of the times you'll be able to find a decent, like this guy right here is not bad. But in order to buy him, I got to buy a backpack. So we're going to buy a standard backpack. Um, I mean, if I'm going budget, smoke filled is not bad. But you could just buy one of these. I'm going to go really budget, so we're just going to look here. I'm going to find, you know, probably a smoke field's okay. That just means we'll build anti-rad. So then we'll go back here. We'll scoop up this A damage. Um, AR-17. There we go. Now we need uh, a muzzle thing for it. So... Go here, buy one, slap it in. All right. <clears throat> now, if you want to go really, really budget, you can just outfit this guy with, like, green stuff. But I like to run mods on my weapons. So I'm building for, like, it's not super budget, because if you're going super budget, maybe just a green guy with green ammo is your build. I want a blue weapon. All these budget builds are my blue weapons, because they're, they're my favorite builds. They're not just trash builds. It's stuff that I like to run. That's the whole point of it. So I like to run. Oof, that's a bit pricey though. So we might have to just go with arm for the time being or chest. What's cheaper? Chest is actually cheaper. So we're going to build chest. I'm going to grab probably just rifling. Rifling is a good just start. Now you can go cheaper than suppressor. I like suppressed. But if you're really hurting for money, if you just get, like, you can check the prices and see. Suppressor is always the best one, but you may be able to save a little bit of money. See, not much, like 500. Eh, you're not saving that much. You're saving, like, 700. So if you're really hurting for money, maybe you buy a flash hider or a muzzle brake. Muzzle brake, probably better than the flash hider, because you're paying about the same price. Um, flash hider gives you, like, no good. It's like muzzle flame and range. Uh, you want... Usually recoil and range is probably better. Suppressor is obviously the best. Just because if people can't hear your shots, they uh, can't come murder you. Which is the whole point. Um, I like to just build cluster because a lot of your engagements are not going to be like any further than 30 meters. So, But it is kind of expensive. Uh, so what we may end up doing is going down to like a quick mag, which is more manageable. How much more is the uh, extended though? All right, so it looks like we might be going quick mag. Um, I could get a bursting for a slight, slightly more. I think we'll probably do that. We'll go bursting, just because it's it's not that much more. But the main thing we're looking for is cluster. So cluster, rifle, torso, that's good damage mods. And then you don't really need much else for like an AR. You can go ahead and just slap like a cheap light stock on it is what I would normally run. Um, it has like no recoil, so I wouldn't even worry about having like the better stock. It's going to cost you more. I would just run universal. If you want, you can grab this reload one. It's not much more. You know, if you can get a second mod for... About the same price. Go ahead and slap her on there. Why not? And then probably same thing with uh, with these. 
Uh, you might just want like, I don't know, thumb grip is always a good one, but it's always pricey. Uh, you could just go with like a standard folding, just reduce the, uh, the spread, dispersion. Um, you could even maybe go laser, although I'm not, I don't use lasers that much. I usually use these, but in this case, the laser might make sense. Just because this gun has like virtually no recoil. It does have dispersion though. It's got quite a bit of dispersion, so maybe we'll just rock that. And there you go. There's your budget AR-17 setup. Cheap and effective. And we even managed to get one so that like when we reload, it doesn't reduce our movement speed. We got a little bit extra damage in range, which can't go wrong with. And then I like to run blue ammo. So what I would recommend doing is 5.56 is expensive for blue ammo. So you grab like a stack, you throw it here, you throw this up here, keep your good ammo in your and you're safe. You can always pick up other blue ammo in raid. So usually I won't even buy green ammo. It's kind of a waste to buy it when you can find it. But if it, it would figure that I wouldn't find any when I'm looking for it. So I think I will buy one stack of spare ammo. Um, you can grab whatever sniper you want. Uh, just grab a sniper. But if you're looking for maximum money, maybe you don't run a sniper. Maybe you just, you know, leave space open so that you can pocket additional gear. I'm probably going to run a sniper because I'm not hurting for cash all that bad. I'm probably going to rock one of these deep damage guys. If I can find one that doesn't have a good scope on it that I'm saving. Uh, I might have a blue one already built. Let's find out. Aha, perfect. There's our our sniper. So just a little sniper thermal and some other mods. Slap that in there. And then I like to run stealth, but if you want to run around, I, I think stealth has better survival options. Um, I prefer to run T2 because you can have two mods instead of one. But if you're really hurting for money, maybe you just go one. Just grab like an anti-rad. You're not going to get like T1 armor doesn't really give you any damage reduction. That's noticeable. You, you'd be probably take the same amount of hits, just naked. Um, T2, I think, gives you a little bit against green ammo. Not much. You could just run a standard T3 armor, but I really like anti rad. Anti rad is super helpful because then we can utilize smokes and people can't see us when we're moving cover to cover. Then you grab yourself a cheap pair of silence boots, boom shock, and probably amplifier. Um, but I mean, if you had big money to spend, amp heat is the best. But I'll just take amp for this one. Oof. That's pricey. Um, I think it, it's not going to make a big difference whether we have T1 or T2 helmet. So we'll just take the cheaper of the two. You grab yourself just enough meds to survive, which is like two to three of these. I'll run three. You never know. And then probably one or two of these. You could go one if you're really hurting, two if you don't mind spending a little extra. Like the heck did it go to oh it did like bare minimum you need two of these and one of these but an extra one of each is not awful um, I like to split them and then I just carry you know that way I have what I could use in a fight but nothing if I need more I can always pull more out so then we, we submit it all, and then we go grab some smokes, because we are running anti-rad. Anti-rad is such a good mod. Like, you don't have to worry about those fire grenades. Warhead may still work on you, because I feel like I got killed by a warhead one time, even though I had anti-rad on. And I was, like, confused, because I thought that it negated warhead. And maybe it's supposed to. I don't know. I like to grab three smokes, but you could grab two. Um, even one, if you're really... It's just for, like, looting things. You want to throw smokes on bodies that you're looting. Because um, you never know who's around, who's watching you, or heard, who heard your gunfight. It's always a safe bet to smoke. 
Um, let's go. Hold on. Not a huge fan of the way. I don't know. Maybe we'll just. I gotta do some new, uh, some new camo options. I guess we'll just stick with this for now. That's fine. I wish they'd come out with like a good one for the AR-17. The problem with the AR-17 is it's just a weaker, cheaper M4. So, but the price of M4s these days, man, if you're running M4, you might as well be running T5 because it's gonna, your gun's gonna cost you more than the rest of your kit. For real. So let's go ahead and do a shelter match with this kit and see what happens. So if I'm running AR-17, that's basically what I'm looking for. I'm looking for torso or arm on this. You could go head if you wanted to. Um, rifle, cluster, light, and everything else doesn't matter. Just throw on whatever extra stuff you can get for around the same price. And you're good to go with an AR-17. And really, that's going to be about every build, to be honest. Um, you're looking for suppressors, but if you're, you're hurting for cash, you can take a, a lower tier mod. I, I choose rifling over AP. People are like, oh, why don't you run AP? AP's better. It's like, yeah, it is, but it's more expensive. So when you're going for budget, rifle is the way to go. Airtight does not give you as much damage as rifle does. AP is always better than damage. Um, except for, I think, cluster does give you more than, I think, even a 6% heated in close range. I mean, except against maybe like a T5. Maybe. Uh, the higher the armor the other player has, the less damage you're going to do. Even if you're doing additional damage, AP will be better. Alright. And then... You sneak around and kill people. That's the name of the game. You can casual loot if you want, but uh, a lot of casual loot will get you killed. get sniped. I should have smoked his body. That's what I mean. You never know who's watching. Although this guy looks like he's ESPing. Look at him. Look at him meet through walls and shit. 
Unfortunately, that's a thing in this game too. So we got a little ESP here. That's all right. But you get the gist. It's a pretty good gun um, for budget. It's not my preferred way to go. Like I would rather take an AK because you pay about the same price, but the AK is way better than the AR-17. I think as stands. I think most people would agree with that. Um, but next build we'll do the AK and I'll show you. We're going to build it pretty similar. Although I may try to save a little bit of money because you don't really need like the grip attachment. Right. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.